Are you someone that's having trouble becoming motivated to study the ATI material or even continue nursing school? Are you someone that has a proctor exam within the coming weeks and you're looking to get your hands on some helpful, detailed, structured, and amazing notes? Maybe. You're someone that has already taken the proctor exam, but you're looking to get your hands on some information that can help you successfully pass your nursing school's exit exam or even the NCLEX. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss the only five tips that you're going to need to successfully get a level three on your ATI maternal newborn proctor exam. So stay tuned because by the end of the video, I will be showing you a preview of my personal notes that you can get your hands on. You're welcome. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Uh. Here's another glimpse in the life of Mr. Seldom on a mission to heaven so he can tell me well done. Well done. He got all my secrets. He promised he never tell none. You're welcome. There's no other feeling like it. What's good, everyone? It's Jamal Hake, channel dedicated to helping individuals unlock the will to conquer imagination. And if you truly believe in self, as well as the content being posted here on this channel, then we can indeed help to turn the you that's you into something that's more valuable. Now, if you're wondering why I have this baby here, this is a baby you could say I found, my personal baby, me and my wife's, right? This is Marie. Right, Marie, she was born as of the date of the uploading of this video. Brown eyes, and she is the child of Jamal and my lovely wife, Elizabeth. Oh, is that so? But more importantly, let's get into some other interesting matters that we will discuss. As I've already said, we're going to be covering the only five tips that you're going to need to get a level three on this ATI maternal newborn proctor exam. Now, if you've seen my other videos on how to get a level three on pharmacology, how to get a level three on mental health, how to get a level three on nursing care of children, the proof is in the pudding. But I'm going to make this a little bit more sh detailed, streamlined, and to the point that you're going to be able to get the information that you're going to need. So starting with the first tip, this is what you have to get down. There is the difference between the people that's getting level threes and the people that are not getting level threes. What exactly is the difference? It's two main ingredients. The first ingredient is confidence. And the second ingredient is your belief, right? In order for you to even understand the next four tips that I'm about to discuss, you have to get this first tip down. In order for you to first get to the point where you're capable of getting the level three, you have to have the confidence to guide you to the level three and then the next thing you ha is you have to have a actual belief system you believe in that you're capable of doing it to actually guide you to get in the level three how exactly does it work well if you say to me hey jamal i'm just not a confident individual this is how you could develop confidence super quickly competency leads to confidence how do you develop competency Competency comes from the repetition of doing something, right? When you have a repetition of doing something and you find understanding in it, it starts to develop some level of confidence within you for the material that you're actually going over. And the belief actually helps build you towards the confidence as well, because belief starts with your mindset. For example, if you're operating from a limiting belief, the likelihood of you getting to level three is not going to be very likely. But if you're operating for someone that has a lot of positivity, someone that actually believes that when you come into that exam, you're going to crush it, the likelihood of you getting to level three has now increased. The likelihood of you being confident in getting to level three has now increased. So do you see how that tip number one makes sense? Oh! Tip number two is you have to do hella practice questions. I'm going to repeat that one more time because this is like the most important part. You have to do hella practice questions. Now, what exactly does that look like, Jamal? Here's what it looks like to really do hella practice questions. Number one, when you're doing these practice questions, let's just say you're giving yourself two to four weeks to study, right? Two to four weeks. This is a pretty reasonable because anytime I have ever gotten to level three, I have studied or dedicated studying for two to four weeks, really leaning on the two week side. 
but within this two to four weeks you're going to want to do 50 to 75 questions a day i'm gonna repeat that one more time you're going to want to do 50 to 75 questions per day what is the rationale behind that well, number one, you don't want to overload yourself with too many questions, right? You don't want to overstimulate yourself by being exposed to too many questions. The other rationale to it is when you actually take the proctor exam, the number of questions they're going to ask you, I do believe is 70 questions. Only 60 of the questions is going to count towards your grade, while the other 10 is just research questions, right? So why would you want to do more than what you're going to be given on your proctor exam, right? You want to put yourself in a winning position. So only do 50 to 75 questions. Now, let's go a little bit deeper into this, right? Because this tip is tip number two, right? Doing hella practice questions. What exactly does that look like? That's you going to dynamic quizzes. And that's doing all 400 of the maternal newborn questions, right? 50 to 75 questions a day right the next thing standard quizzes there's three standard quizzes uh maternal newborn one the maternal newborn two and then the final maternal newborn um standard quiz right and then you have two practice assessments that you can do to also allow for more practice questions uh, to be given to you and just to add some more meat to it pro tip number one with this tip number two right this is pro tip number one with tip number two right do hella practice questions by exposing yourself to as many practice questions as possible you are going to start picking up on the pattern of specific topics that are frequently discussed and i'm gonna give an example to that later on in the um in the video right and then pro tip number two right when you're doing these practice questions I'm going to want you to flag each question that you get incorrect, each question that you guessed on, or each question that you quite don't really understand, but you want to see again, right? The object of the game, the goal of the game is for you to become exposed to as many questions as possible, right? So I want you to spend a little bit of time on this point when you flag these questions, so when you go back through after you complete all your questions you get to see the question again to see if you have a better chance of getting that question correct is all of this making sense so far of course of course tip number three i'm going to need you to read the rationale of each individual answer choice i'm gonna repeat that one more time each answer choice i want you to read the rationale of each individual answer choice it doesn't matter whether you got the answer uh the question to the uh the question correct it doesn't matter if you got the question incorrect you have to read the rationale of each answer choice what's the meaning behind this well the meat and the potatoes comes from the rationale when you have a deeper level of understanding for the material that you're actually answering it brings you closer to the material in itself right if i just select c and the answer to c was uh to help the mother um with her nausea and vomiting she should eat dry foods such as saltine crackers right and i don't have a level of understanding as to why that's the correct answer sure i may get the answer correct on the final exam but i increase the likelihood the probability of me getting it correct by having a level of understanding as to why that answer is the answer the other thing is reading the rationale of the incorrect answers there's other source materials within those answer choices as well that's going to guide you towards getting the answer correct when that topic point comes up again this is all the sauce right now. I'm giving y'all the sauce right now. So I want y'all to really lock in on what's being said. You think I'm playing? So tip number four, I want you to use my study guide that I'm going to talk about in a second in conjunction with any other source material that you can get your hands on, right? Source material would, uh, would be considered practice questions, right? Other source material that's really good will be considered um, the ATI book. Now pro tip, I do not recommend reading through the entirety of this book, even though the book is short. If you're a quick reader, cool. But let's save on time, right? You can skim through this, 
go to the ebook i use the ebook and if you're doing your practice questions and you see something that you that stands out to you type it in the search bar and it's going to directly send you to the page where that material that you're looking for is at right the other thing the uh, maternal newborn nursing demystic demystified right now i don't strongly recommend looking at other material outside of the ati material because the answers that you're looking for is already in the ati book however if you want to look at something that's going to help better paint a picture especially if you're like me i'm like a visual learner like i need the, that visual for me to really for that information to really sink in right this right here was actually helpful for me, but you don't have to get it. But again, if you're just looking to get exposed to as much material as possible, because you're someone that you need a level three in order to pass the class, this tip is gonna be very crucial because you need to use the study guide that you can get from me in conjunction with any other source of material that you can get your hands on or that you already have your hands on currently. Hmm. Huh. And the final tip, I'm just going to briefly discuss topics that has a high probability, high probability, high probability of being on your ATI maternal newborn partner exam, right? Let's go over it really quickly. For example, um, chapter seven, bleeding during pregnancy, right? You're going to see things such as ectopic pregnancy, um, things like uh, placenta previa, and things in relations to um, abrupto uh, placenta. I don't know how to say that word, but you know what I'm saying, right? So when you go to chapter seven, right, you're going to be able to look at that information, right? Looking at ectopic pregnancies, right? That's abnormal implantation uh, of a fertilize, uh, fertilized um, ovum um, outside of of the uterus right outside of the uterine cavity right so when you have a good understanding of what exactly does ectopic pregnancy mean and what causes it right then um you can better guide it will better guide you in the direction of knowing the correct answer for example things like uh messing up tubal patency and stis and things of that nature can put uh, a, a patient your client the mother at an increase increased risk of of a um of topic pregnancy right things like placenta previa right when you get to understanding and knowing this information is super crucial important right that's that's number one this is still tip five in terms of topics that have the high probability of being on the ati exam right what's another thing right um physiological and um psychological adaptations in pregnancy this is referring to the things that are the expected findings findings within the first trimester of pregnancy second trimester of pregnancy and third trimester of pregnancy when you get to the point where you're able to better identify those expected findings for example nausea and vomiting within the um um uh, was it the uh the first trimester of pregnancy things like hyperemesis um uh, gravidum right i think i said that word correctly these are things that when you get the understanding like when it typically happens what weeks what weeks of gest uh gestation um does this typically occur you're better to know what nurse intervention to implement when it comes to caring for the client What's another thing, right? Uh, veal chop mine, right? Veal chop mine. I'm gonna show you um, an example of this when we go into the preview of the study guide really quickly. And then last but not least, right? Phototherapy. I'm gonna repeat that time one more time. Phototherapy. You gotta understand this, right? Things like uh, what to expect, right? Repo Let's pull out the baby for this, right? When it's under, right, that light, right the baby it only needs to be a mask covering the genitals right everything else needs to be exposed right to the phototherapy you don't need to put no lotion no ointment on the baby right you want to feed the baby frequently right you want to change the position of the baby frequently you want to check the temperature of the baby frequently right and all this is discussed within the notes in terms of how frequently these things should be done but at the end of the day, these are just examples of topics that have a high probability, probably 90 percent 
of being on the ATR Proctor Jam. And reason why this is important because there are things that I've discussed within these quick fire topic points that if you get this down, that already helps answers anywhere between maybe 10 to 12 questions. And my notes kind of covers the rest of them as well. So put yourself in a position, a winning position by utilizing all five of these tips to help you get a level three on the ATI maternal newborn proctor exam. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you a preview really quickly of what you would be getting if you were to get this study guide really quickly. A few moments later. What's good everyone? What I'm about to do is show you a quick preview of a few pages from my 41 page maternal newborn ATI notes, right? 41 pages, I, this is not a joke. Within these 41 pages, I have images, I have charts and tables. Uh, within these 41 pages, I even have 18 unique personal questions. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. I have 18 unique personal questions, right? You have to be able to use this to your benefit and to your um, disposal. But I'm about to show you a few pages, starting with number one, page number one, right? What you can expect to see, these are just like quick fire tips um, that I have on here. Um, for example, HCG is key in order for you to verify her pregnancy, right? It rhymes, it's cool, it's quirky, right? The whole purpose of that is just to show that um, it, the basis of proving or dictating someone's being pregnant or not. Reason why I know this very well is because where I work in my facility, one of the things that we do is we have to verify if a woman is pregnant or not because we can't just willy-nilly give someone psychiatric or psychotropic um, or antipsychotic medications if they are pregnant because that could actually um, ruin the pregnancy. So that's why we have to rule out um, with a verifiable um, lab, right? We have to rule out whether the um, woman is pregnant or not, right? And then other things, right? And just knowing the fetal heart rate, super important, the normal fetal heart rate. Uh, put some jelly on that thing, right? Referring to infant being circumcised. Let's move on to, um, let's move on to page nine and 10 really quickly. Now that we're on page nine right now, on page nine, this is an example of like, let's say a placenta previa notes, right? I even tell you the chapter, I even tell you the page. Now, some things I don't have page or chapter, but I do have enough information to the point where even if you were to type it in into the PDF ebook of the uh, maternal newborn ATI book, you will be able to find the material or the information, right? Highlighting certain things, putting certain things, and as well as I have an image to help paint that picture or that visualization, visualization in your head a little bit deeper, right? Next thing, let's move on to page 25. All right, so on page 25, I have an example of Veal Chop Mind. Now, some schools talk about it. Some teachers talk about it. I've discussed with some people, they didn't completely know about it at all. But with Veal Chop Mind, this just goes to show um, things to be mindful of um, when the, the infant, the fetus is in the womb, right? Variable D cells, early D cells, accelerations, and late D cells when you're looking at the fetal heart rate um, monitoring device, right? So when you're noticing these things, you have what's causing those type of fetal heart rates. And then you have the interventions that you're going to be able to utilize, right? You will see things pertaining to late D cells a lot. Late D cells is another thing that's related to tip number five, that has a high probability of being on the exam. When you know what interventions to do for late D cells, you're putting yourself in a position of getting a level three on the ATI Proctor exam. And the last page I'm going to show you will be page 38. So page 38 um, is this page right here where I have 18 unique practice questions for you to be able to do. Now, when I say unique questions, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is what I did. I took existing questions, tweaked the answer or tweaked the question in itself and made it unique. You can't go and Google these questions, uh, answers to these questions, right? So what you have to do is 
you have to be able to have an understanding of the information to be able to get these answer um these questions correct right i tweak the things just like any other teacher would do when they um are giving you um questions to a test right they're using a test bank but typically they may just straight out don't change anything i went through the liberty of changing every single question and answer so right so you're going to find some uniqueness in doing this just off the 18 questions alone doing this is going to better prepare you for what's to come when you do your ati maternal newborn um proctor exam oh my goodness <laughs> and that's it for the video guys and i know what you think it's jamal them notes look fire how do i get a copy of those hit that link below right the link in the koji link i'm gonna let you know right now the time of this upload video i know people are going to be watching this for years to come listen notes are still applicable for future ati exams right the material of maternal newborn you can't really get more new material why is that because maternal newborn is based off of the time that a woman becomes pregnant right to the time that the infant first comes out of the womb and postpartum care right you can't really add any more new information in within that that window right so that's why out of all the subject matters the material that you're going to be learning regardless of the year that you're learning it is going to be applicable to anything that you're trying to apply for so for right now i have a 25 percent off for the month of april so if you're watching this in some other month you're watching this it's fine there's times that i'm going to apply um discounts throughout the year and the years to come right but for right now for the month of april 25 percent discount get in while it's hot because this information that you're going to be able to get that that i literally took and slaved over is going to be able to help you get a level three so until then i look forward to talking to you guys on the next video it's your boy jamal hockey channel dedicated to helping individuals unlock the will to conquer imagination and if you truly believe in yourself as well as the content being posted on this channel did we can indeed help turn the you that's you into something that's more valuable now i look forward to talking to you guys on the next video so without further ado peace out uh, it's the act of god i used to act the fool but now i act the movies actually i'm just making moves we still making music tell you about my past to secure my future i'm all in my bag flow like a computer that's a humble brag uh.